When you think of Australia, destinations like the Great Barrier Reef and Sydney probably pop up in your head. Not many people know much about Tasmania, so that's why I'm calling it Australia's most underrated destination. For the past week or so, I've been travelling along this island state's east coast. I camped with wallabies in Bruni Island, hiked to waterless waterfalls near Hobart, and beach hopped in Swansea. This travel series is action packed. And the best part is we're just getting started. So why not subscribe and stick along for the ride? Whether you're a fan of hilltop hikes, winding roads, or gourmet cuisine, we're sprinkling a little bit of everything into this itinerary. And of course, there'll be plenty of random dance breaks and dad jokes too. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, what's the time? It's 11.30 and we are calling, where are we calling from? We are currently in St. Helens, just got a much needed coffee. And now we're going to the Bay of Fires, which is gonna be amazing. And then after that, we've got a two and a bit hour drive to get up to Georgetown in the north of Tasmania. And it's gonna be amazing. We've got another glamping experience lined up. So it's gonna be fruity, schmooty, katooty, looty, duty, mooty. Anyways, yes, I'm quite tired. Is that all I have to say? Yes. Okay, bye. I need to cut my fringe. Okay, we just finished at the Bay of Fires and it was beautiful, but it was very windy, honestly. Now we are driving up to Georgetown and it's gonna be a three hour drive. <sighs> so we're just getting some snacks and stocking up because it's gonna be a long one. And if I need to pee, well, we're gonna have to stop along the side of the road and have to pop a squat, but no problems because I'm a professional. Okay. When I was planning my trip to Tasmania, I wanted to include a mix of luxury and local options. So when I stumbled upon Wington's Glamping, I was immediately sold. This unique spot in Clarence Point combines outdoor adventure and luxury camping into one. From the Persian style carpets and sumptuous bedding to the flickering fireplace and lakefront views, it felt like a sensory experience from every angle. After speaking with the owner, I couldn't wait to take a dip in the cold plunge pool and warm up later on in the sauna. We spent the evening reading by the warm fireplace and planning the rest of our trip along Tasmania's northern coast. The next day, we got up for the sunrise. Well, not me. Mum did, actually. <laughs> As the sun was coming up, I decided to head into the sauna and sweat it out before a big day of adventure. To 
be completely honest, this beach was absolutely beautiful and the wildflowers created an amazing contrast. However, it was super windy and I didn't like the chances of swimming here. So we decided to head back into the local town and pick up some groceries. We spent the rest of the day hanging out at the accommodation and honestly just taking it easy. I lied around on the deck, bathed in the bathtub and spent the rest of the evening reading by the fire. At this point in the trip, we had stayed at over five properties. So I definitely think we needed the time to rest and kick back. The next day, I was up early in the sauna once again. Good morning. I literally just woke up, as you can tell by my hair. It's giving Hagrid. Today's our last day at Wington's Glamping. We're about to go to Marino Rose, which is in the northwest of Tasmania. So I'm looking forward to that. Last night, I thought a Tasmanian devil got into the tent. They make some crazy ass noises. Anyways, I could not really get to sleep, but that's all good because yesterday was a really restful, peaceful day. And honestly, like this trip has been just go, 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 go. And yeah, we definitely needed just a day of taking it slow. Anyways, apart from that, the wildlife here has been insane. I'm so surprised. Tasmania is so underrated. Kangaroos, wallabies, bilbies, Tasmanian devils. <laughs> Today's gonna be a two and a half hour drive. So it's gonna be a long one. I am just mad chilling like a mad dog in the sauna right now. I'm gonna go do a cold plunge in a bit. F this trip's going so quickly. Anyways. <laughs> As we were driving along the northwest coastline of Tasmania, we started to see a bit of smoke and smell it in the air. Later on, we took our time as we cautiously drove through what was a bushfire site. is a character-packed bed and breakfast located in the heart of Stanley. After speaking with the owners and taking a quick look around, we decided it was time to eat. So, we took to the streets and headed out to the local pub. day, we decided it was time to pick up the pace and switch up our sightseeing. So we headed up to the top of the nut. The nut isn't probably what you're thinking about. It's not a giant nut. In fact, it's an ancient volcanic plug with a large flat surface that's perfect for getting around on foot. Once you get up to the top of the nut, you can enjoy amazing views of places like the Bass Strait, Rocky Cape National Park, and neighboring farmland. Plus, it's a great spot for bird watching too.
Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here. Next week, we'll close up this Tasmania series. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.